Okay, welcome back to Creative Tap. What we're going to be doing in this tutorial, this is a little bonus feature, I'm going to be showing you how we can do the Voldemort nose effect, okay? So I'm actually back in Maya with my retopologized mesh because we can't just project it on the mesh that we've already got into Nuke, okay? So if you, if you haven't actually followed along the previous tutorials, you will need to do that because um, I show you how to do all the facial tracking in Nuke, export to Maya, do the retopologizing, get back into Nuke and then put a texture on there. But this is an additional one, all right? I'm going to show you how to do that Voldemort nose thing. Now, if we look in our perspective view, right, um, you can see that we've got this bumpy nose right here. I really didn't know my nose was that big. I'm quite offended, not going to lie. Um, what I need to do, though, is I need to smooth that down to project the Voldemort nose thing on top, okay? So I'm going to get, in my sculpting tools, this level a surface tool, okay? And I'm going to come to my mesh, and I'm simply going to come to the front, and I am going to level this down, just move like that, and you can see it's working, so I'm just going to carry on leveling this surface down, and I should end up with a relatively flat nose like that, okay, and that's where we're going to actually project it on, okay. So um, all we need to do now is, much like before, we need to just save out this export, this mesh, okay. So We've got our, ex our selection there, so file, export, um, where was it, export selection. Actually, sorry, before we do that, we need to UV it. So let's go into the camera one, get a frontal view like so. Okay, let's go UV, um, camera based, UV editor, and I'm just going to file... Um, no, sorry, modify, unfold, and I'll unfold that mesh, okay? I'm just going to, just like before, scale it down slightly, move it across, there you go, and that's our UV. Um, so now I can go object mode, just select it, file, export selection, and right there, just make sure you get the option box. So I'm going to go for OBJ and export selection. Um, and face underscore mesh underscore Voldemort. Let's just call it that. Maya export, save it in here. Face mesh Voldemort, export selection. And now I can come out of Maya and go back into Nuke. Okay, we're back in Nuke. I think you kind of know what we're going to do here. I'm going to pull this off to the side. And I am going to read in my geometry. So that's in Maya files, scenes, Maya exports, and face mesh Voldemort OBJ. And click open. And then we want to plug this in to our scene. Now we want to do the same as we did before export a texture, okay, based on this. So just get our project. 3D node. If you do want to skip through this bit, mind, because you know what I'm doing, you can. Um, but I'm going to get the project 3D node, link it up, um, put that into my source, and put that into my camera. So then if I were to yeah, view, it's basically putting my footage on top. If I change, let's just, um, it is doing that, isn't it? Let's just quickly check. Yeah, okay. And you can see the top of the nose is gone there. Um, that's fine. So, again, what I'm going to do is come to frame 170, because that's the frame I exported earlier. Frame 170. Change the projection mode to UV. And then get my reformat node in there to make it a 1K square. And just make sure, if you are watching this for the first time, 1K square and distort. I'm now going to export this. So, call it face texture. And I'm going to call it Voldemort underscore and then it's frame 169 I'm using this time but 170 worked last time so I'm actually going to do frame 170 so yeah it's n there's no difference so frame 170 render and just type in 170 just like that and it should then go to custom yeah cool and click OK so it'll export that frame the other frame I did last time was 214 so let's do the same again um, just change this to 214. We know these frames work, so we're not going to waste time checking. 
come click render and 214 and finally 285 yeah that's gonna work we know that we checked it last time 85 and click render 285 and now I'm gonna jump across into Photoshop okay so I'm in Photoshop I've opened frame 170 I'm also going to import frame 214, put that on top very quickly, hit enter, get my lasso tool, just come down the side like so, something like that will do, yeah, come down the side, and then I am going to, just like I did before, I'm going to mask it, I'm going to get my um, brush by here, turn the opacity down, and just kind of blend, blend that like so. Okay, I'm going to get my other frame, 285, drag it on top, hit enter, lasso tool, downside, like so. You've got a little less to work with this, with this one. And come across, come across, come across. Mask, and use my brush tool, just like so, to do some clever little blending, just on the layer mask. Okay. And cool so we we have now our texture all right what we can now do is we can actually now paint in a Voldemort nose so there's two ways you can do this you can either almost like source some skin texture from different various parts and paint over the top and draw two little slits or you can actually get an image of, of Voldemort off the internet I'm not going to do that um, because that's, you know, copyright technically. Um, so I don't want to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get different bits of skin and then I'm just going to draw the little slits in, okay? So before I actually do that, I am just going to save out a image. So um, face texture Voldemort, face texture merged, underscore Voldemort. Don't really need to, but it is good to always have a reference. I'm going to save that JPEG just like I did before. Again, don't really need to, but it is really good to have a reference. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to select all these images, all these layers, shift select them, drag them to the new icon and control E with the top three selected. So I can disable these and I can basically just work with this as one layer. I'm going to get my patch tool. Um, this is this is me creating these sort of slits and everything because I don't like I said, I don't want to use an image from the internet. Um, I'm going to draw with the patch tool around there, and I'm just going to click and drag up here. Okay, and uh, I went a little bit, let's undo that, I went a little bit wide there. So if I just go tight around the nose for now, because I haven't got a lot of pixels to work with up here, then click and drag up here, and deselect, you can see we've, we've got gotten rid of our nose. Um, what we can now do is um, just come in with the healing brush tool just to blend that a little bit more um, and healing brush tool a uh, spot healing brush tool so I just to kind of blend that a little bit better but there yeah and clean up just a little few of those dots okay and we've now gotten rid of the nose okay so now we have gotten rid of the nose what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bring the nose back okay <laughs> sounds weird but I'm gonna shift select the bottom three again bring it to the new layer icon, bring them onto on top, turn them on, and these three I'm gonna go Control E. So I've basically done done that and I've got the nose back, okay? I'm gonna to go to Filter, Liquify, okay? When this opens up, we're gonna zoom in and we are gonna get our forward warp tool, make the brush a little bit smaller, and we're basically gonna drag these nostrils out like so, okay? Something like that, and Let's just go something like, um, just make sure it's straight. Yeah, something like that. With this one on the right, I do want to use the pucker tool just to kind of bring it in a little bit. And again, I'm going to use the warp just to straighten it up a touch like that. And let's just make it a bit smaller. Drag, undo, see if I can drag that out a little bit. Uh, okay, that, that'll, that'll do. Um, just maybe a little bit wonky. There we go, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. So you can spend more time on yours, um, but that's fine for me. So I'm going to click OK. 
I'm now going to put a layer mask on this layer, invert it, and I am going to paint back in with a white brush, 100% opacity. I'm going to paint these back in where they are. So I'm going to paint that back in like so, and I'm going to paint this one back in. What I can now do finally is change the opacity of this brush down, change it to a black so I can just start gradually blending in these edges like so. So I've got these little slits and then we should be ready to kind of move on over to Nuke. Cool. So just blend that in there. Yeah, those are my um, sort of no slits now. Um, so what I can now do is um, I'm going to merge these two. So Command E and I'm going to get my lasso tool and just come around this little bit because this is the only bit really that we'll be wanting to put on our mesh. Um, something like that. Let's go to select, modify, feather by 5 pixels. Let's now mask it and file, save as, tiff, Voldemort, underscore nose, underscore texture. Okay, and save, discard layers, save transparency, boom, save that out. Now let's come into Nuke, and we need, we need to import our texture. So, where did I save that? Um, Voldemort mesh, no, where did I save that to? Face texture Voldemort, face check, Voldemort nose texture TIFF. Let's open, and again, I can get rid of my project 3D node. Delete that. Um, I don't actually need this camera point cloud either. I could have deleted that ages ago. Um, I'm now going to hook this up. So what we should have, if we look at our 3D view, is on our mesh, on our mesh, we have this, oh, where is it? This being projected on. So now if we look at how that looks on top of our footage, let's go to the scanline renderer, and in scanline renderer, you just have to change this back to render camera, come to our view, and let's just play this through. Um, what we may need to do, because we've got that line of the blending, what we'll need to do is, um, instead of using, wait there, there we go, let's get more room. Instead of using the background in the scanline renderer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge A over B. So in the scanline renderer, what we're currently seeing is, is just this kind of nose moving around. But we're going to merge A over B, okay? And we've still got that little edge, but if we turn video color space on, that, that should help fix it. We do have a bit of a lighting thing there. But then if we play this through, we have now got a Voldemort nose, okay? Um, so you'll see one problem when we play it through. You'll see the nose starting to point out. So what you'd actually have to do is you'd have to actually go through and you'd have to remo remove the nose. Um, but apart from that, that'll just be a little bit of paintwork. Apart from that, you now have a Voldemort nose, which looks kind of creepy. And you could kind of feather that a bit more, go back into the Photoshop file and feather it. But that's just a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a cool technique. And again, you would have to remove that nose completely. So what I've actually done to remove the nose is I've highlighted the section that was the problem. Okay, so which which was these frames by here. You see the nose come out and I've cleaned it up. So what I did is I got a frame hold of frame 261. I drew a roto shape around it. So if we turn our roto shape on, you can see there. And then I pre-melted it and I basically merged this over the top of the footage. Okay, and then I've masked this to only come in in certain points. Okay, so you can see this, it basically masks away that bit of the nose. Um, what what you really should do is denoise first and then degrain de and then regrain. Um, I haven't just, because just, I'm just really quickly showing you. But then once you've done that and removed that nose, you do have a clip that then works and you've got that Voldemort nose, okay? Um, so 
really thank you for tuning in. Um, there was a little bit that you could also carry on and fix, like here, you could probably go back into Photoshop and blend that more. Um, it's, it's just a bit of a lighting change. You could also come in with a uh, rotor paint node and just mask that area and just grade it as it goes. Um, but yeah, basically that's the end of this little series of this sort of um, Voldemort nose thing. I really hope you did enjoy and I really hope to see you again in future tutorials. So cheers for tuning in and I'll see you again. Bye.